Well, here you join us here at the Essex Masters, day one of six days of great competition. Just behind me is the red course, just the final preparations going on. But who's going to win this fantastic event? Remember, this is the first Masters of the year, and it's the first ranking points for the Clay Shooting TV Premier League. A fantastic six days at the Essex Masters. Weather really was very kind apart from just one morning. But over 1,700 shooters shot this amazing event. Probably is the biggest event that will be held in the UK and we were really pleased to be one of the key partners here at this event. We have people from all over the country but also all over Europe come to this event and we can see here now the action from the six days. Uh, Ian, um, this is a sporting shoot and I'm finding you here on this lovely sunny Friday morning. Um, yeah, what brings you down here? Yeah, it's always good to have a change just to mix it up a little bit and have a go. So I came last year and it's a really good shoot, actually very well attended. So it's a good place to come early in season and have a look, see what's going on. And certainly, I mean, not everybody obviously regards you as, as one of the top DTL shooters, but I know you do actually, you're joking apart, shoot a lot of sporting as well, yeah. don't you? Just when, obviously, normally through the winter when we can do, but obviously there's still early in the season, so there's a few gaps here and there, so we do like to come and try out, but we'll see where we end up with here, be good. And the weather here is lovely, I mean, it really is a lovely spot, yeah. but you've just come back from America as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I just had a good time out there, really good, so continuation of the weather would be good if we get it here today. It's always good to shoot in the sun rather than the rain and wind and things like that. Yeah. Well, I know you've got to go off now, but thanks very much indeed. No problem. Nice to meet you again. Thank you. Brett, were you planning to shoot this? Because I understand you've had a four-hour journey down. It's just gone nine o'clock here, and you've had very little sleep, and you've decided just to shoot it? Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, two days before I fly out to uh, Florida, so it's good practice. And it's good. John Dyson always sets a good shoot, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And for you this year, looking to build on what you did last year? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I've been practicing like mad, so yeah. Yeah, and, really and how are you getting on with the new Guarini? Because last time I spoke to you, you'd only had it for a few days. Yeah, I'm getting on really well with it now. I've sorted the stock out proper and um, I just shot 846 straight at Skeet the other day. So it's going well, yeah. And with that in mind, I mean, two big scores, 189 from both Mark Windsor and Mark Marshall. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, those are good scores, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one, one course is shooting easier than the other one, I think. So just sticking on the harder one and uh, trying to pull a big score off on the easier one, yeah. Well, I know you've got the pool shoot to shoot, so I'll let you shoot that, and good luck for the rest right, of the day. Thank you very much, thank you, yeah. Well, Brodie, it's raining, and it's pouring, and we're just here behind you. I see the Caesar Greeny stand here on stand four of the red course. For you, really special year. You're looking to push on again this year, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm looking forward to just keep conceding and just go out there and just keep shooting. And for, and for you, you've had a good winter. I know you've had a, f a few wins as well, but I understand you're flying out to, uh, the, to America tomorrow. Yeah, I'm flying out to America. I just want to get in that sun away from this British weather and just hopefully shoot well. And with that, I know that um, Caesar Greeny again looking to support you again this year, which is great, uh, along with Game Ball as well. Yeah, they, they really helped me, Caesar Greeny and Game Ball, with my cartridges as well. Just, just helped me a lot with my gun, with full, fully sponsorship. And again, when you come to a, a competition like this, you know, it's a 200 bird competition, what are you actually trying to work on? Well, more concentration, that helps a lot. And you just need to keep shooting the clays, just keep concentrated. And I know you've been doing a lot of work with your coach, Mark Windsor, and he's certainly put a big score in this week, hasn't he? Yeah, he's shot extremely well. He's just, he's just shot really well. That's it. And again, I, I know you packed a bit of summer clothes for today, but it's not really very good, is it? But I think you're gonna to have to use some of that Jack Pike sponsored equipment you've got, aren't you? Yeah, I need to use it, definitely. Well. I I got my shorts ready this morning, but not wearing them. Well, I know you've got to go and shoot some stands now, so good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. Ladies, it's a lovely sunny day, and I know you two only come out and shoot in the sunshine, isn't that right? Yeah, that's true, absolutely. Only a fair weather shooter. And Rosie, how are you going to cope with the wind today in your hair? I, I'm, I'm going to start by tying it up, and then if that doesn't work, I'm just going to shave it all off. Mid-round, mid I'm just going to shave it. J joking apart though, Emma, I mean, there's, there's now a lot, of, lot more ladies shooting, aren't there? Absolutely, it's great, there's some good competition out there, it makes it more exciting, the bigger the numbers. 
you find us here in Essex on Saturday morning. For the last four days we've been blessed with truly lovely weather. Today, heavens just opened a bit, but typical, it's Britain, so it's the weekend, so it's got to rain after a few nice days of sunshine. Looking here behind us here, just on, on stand one of a black horse. A uh, number of shooters shooting is here today. You can see, of course, the weekend's going to hot up. But here we are on the Saturday, Mark Windsor, and Mark Marshall both tying on 189 at this current time. You know, will that be beaten? There's some bigger names here today, but certainly we'll see some of the bigger names coming out tomorrow as well. But it really does just bode for a fantastic weekend of shooting to culminate in six days of great shooting here at the Essex Masters. We're going to look at a few more stands in detail as well. We're going to link up with John Dyson. Um, John's been set in this course for the last 15 years. You know, this is his shoot really. Um, we're going to talk to John and find out a little bit more on maybe two or three stands how he set it, why he set it, and what he's trying to do with the shooters. Certainly, you know, I'm always talking about speed, angle, distance. Certainly with John's targets, they will be about speed, they will be about angle, probably a little bit of distance as well in there. But certainly when we've talked to people over the last two or three days, they really enjoyed this course. They think it's a really good challenging course, very technical. Um, but certainly those 189s that have gone in, you know, just 11 targets missed, over 200 for both Mark. Marshall and for Mark Windsor is fantastic shooting but we must also remember here at this weekend but also through the last four days as well over those six days we're probably going to see 15 1600 shooters come through and the majority of those shooters are coming here to enjoy the challenge they enjoy our sport of clay shooting and that's what this is all about someone's going to win of course they are and yes we can probably pick out those top shots that stand a real realistic chance of winning this event but for most people it's an enjoyable time they want to come and shoot some great targets enjoy a bit of banter with friends as well and that's the great thing about clay shooting i spoke to somebody that shot around with george digweed earlier in the week and you can imagine there we've got a world champion multiple world champion who's now just flying off to florida to defend his title and somebody who's been shooting me for a year or two can actually be in the same squad as a world champion there's not many sports that we can see that can enjoy that as well so we're going to go and catch up with a little bit more of the action and then we're also going to ch catch up with John Dyson as well and ask him a little bit more about the course. Uh, John, just looking at stand four then, stand four on the red course, you've got yes. two going away targets, a little mound in front of you and just going, going away. But that's caught a few people out. What did you do to set that target? Well, the targets are fairly low down behind them now and it takes sort of half a second for them to appear when the buttons are in press and they tend to jump the targets a little bit and you've got to take the low one first because that's the one getting away from you and then you've got a really soppy little one hanging in the air. Where they should be getting them, they're, they're missing them. You know. John, we, we also looked at um, Red 10, so we looked at um, Stand 10 on the red course, where you've got those couple of overheads coming from behind you. I've seen one or two people certainly miss out on that one as well. What did you do setting that target? Well, I thought instead of splitting them and having them sort of one to the left, one to the right, I'd, I'd send them directly above one another, and I put a low orange one, which actually goes into the ground, and then the midi goes high, but they're they're sort of in line with one another. So you've really got to take the orange midi, the orange standard first because it hits the ground. But you actually see the the black midi first. So John, then looking at um, stand three on the black, that's another one where I've seen it's been catching people out. We've got a driven bird, and then we've got the the going away teal. But certainly people have had to move their feet on that one as well. Exactly, because the midi is fairly quick on you uh, over your right shoulder, and then in front, only 20 metres away is a, a soppy little black target that's not going 10 foot in the air because everyone's shooting over the top of that you know. so and it's a lot of people like fast targets and they like to put a lead on things but you've also got to be able to shoot at targets straight at them and that's what you need to do you know both of them and that's how i've caught them out <laughs> John, again, you know, you, you talk about having some of those closer targets, and the one that I've seen, you know, loads of people miss is on stand 12 on the black, where you've got a white incomer just coming in front of you, and then you've got a rabbit underneath you. That's right. Well, you're shooting down on the targets, and I've got a white one looping over with no power, literally dropping six or seven yards away from them below in the ditch. And uh, then you've got a rabbit, and some people have really come unstuck on that because they, none of them want any lead. You've literally got to be steady, move slow, shoot straight at them. So just coming to the end of the black course, how have you found it today? Really, really good, yeah. The um, weather conditions are fine, uh, good laugh, very good targets, very, very interesting. And I know you've already shot it once, once this week already, and this yeah. one you're just, just shooting birds only. What brings you back again? You know, what did you find so interesting about it? Very challenging. I actually scored more today than I did before. 
learn to read the targets more. And one of the guys on the course on Wednesday showed me a few tricks and they're working well. So, brilliant. Well, I know got one, a couple more stands to go, so uh, I'll let you go and crack on, but thank you very much. Thank you. David, part way through the black course, you shot the red course as well. How are you finding this shoot? Targets that we don't get at other clubs. So very interesting, very difficult, very challenging. Um, but black course is supposed to be easier than the red, but <laughs> I'm finding it very difficult at the moment. And what's catching you out with them? I, I think it's just like the angles and that on them. But apart from that, it's just targets that we don't normally get. But nice targets, though. Oh yeah, very good. This every t every year we come here is different targets, better and fantastic. And in, t in terms of that, I mean, they catching out with the speed of them or the angle of them? I think it's the angles, you know, they're not very far away, but it's just the angles they're being thrown at. It's just interesting. And interestingly here, we've just shoot, seen you shooting this stand where you've got a driven bird and then you've got to go in away. Certainly got to be able to move your body and your feet for that, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. And like I say, the, the cage was getting in my eyesight as well to go over the cage to get driven bird because it's got quite a long gun. So it was a bit hard to swing round on in that cage, but very good. Well, I know you've got still a bit more to go, so good luck with the rest. Yeah, thanks very much, Sir Phil. Jenny, we've just seen you shoot a really, really good score on that stand 10 here on the uh, black course. How did you find that stand? Oh, it was great. As soon as I saw it when we were watching it before we started, um, I love really big long crosses and I thought, yeah, I want to hit that one. I was a bit more worried about the other one, the one that was just like a dustbin lid. But um, yeah, just had to throw my gun at it. Big old gap. But yeah, really pleased to hit it. And I can't believe I missed the last one. What a wally. <laughs> That's the thing with clay shooting, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah it's, it's a good course. It's shot the red course yesterday. Um, enjoyed that and, and finishing off with the black today. So, yeah, looking forward to finishing off and seeing where I am on the leaderboard. So, 10 stands down, 3 to go. Yeah, absolutely. I like the, the last stand, the stand 13 with the four sort of tough targets. I quite like that as well. So, I'm looking forward to that one. And have you shot the Essex Masters before? Uh, last year was my first time. So, second time back yet. Yeah, so, had a night out with Braintree last night. So, yeah, good fun. But certainly with that, though, great course, though, isn't it? Lovely targets. Absolutely. Beautiful setting. A bit windy today, actually, so I wouldn't fancy shooting this afternoon. I think the wind's going to get up, but, yeah, great, great course. Well, I know your squad's off now, so I'll let you get on, but thanks very much for your time. All right, thanks, Phil. So I've just been seeing you getting near the end of your, your red course. How did you just yep. find that stand? Um, not too bad. It's one of the trickiest stands we've shot, but I actually shot it quite well, to be fair. Better than some of the easier stuff earlier on in the red course, so, yeah. And I understand you're... First time shooting this new gun of yours from Caesar Greeny. Yeah, I took it out last night for some practice. Um, literally shot 100 clays for it. Um, that's all I've done. I had a, a demo one about six weeks ago from them and really liked it. And yeah, so um, bought one and yeah, shooting okay, okay. So. And what do you like about the gun? Um, it's obviously it's the siren, so it's it's actually built for women. But obviously because of short and stock with my disabilities, um, it's I picked it up and it fits perfectly straight away. I haven't got to do any work to it and. And the balance is perfect and um, yeah just need to shoot some more cartridges through it and, and get used to it so but again you've got your combination now of the Caesar Greeny and the game balls exactly yeah the game ball have been uh, really good sponsoring me this year um, we're shooting the black golds and white gold today um, close stuff for white gold so it's a bit smoother with eights and um, seven and a half on the blacks so yeah they just shot with the blacks and you can see the kills are fairly good so and, you know, certainly we, we spoke to you a little bit last year about uh, disabled shooters and how many it's coming on. And again, it does seem to be an increase this year again, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. We've, um, we've got some top shooters as well. Um, Jamie Guttridge, Andy Womble in the OT. Um, Jamie, Jamie and um, Graham Long are particularly shooting really well at the moment. In the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and they're, they're really flying. So, yeah, it's, um, but you know, at the grassroots level as well, we're, we're getting a lot of people come through and, and enjoying themselves. The Sable Shooters group is, um, is really, really doing well. Um, we're obviously trying to push the Paralympic stuff still, and you know, it's, um, it's, it's good at the moment, good place to be. And certainly we were at the CPSA Awards recently where we saw Andy, on, Andy Womble win that award, which is, which is fantastic recognition. Yeah. But certainly for me, you know, that there are people like yourself you know, who, who've got disabilities from birth, but also now we're seeing a number of people who are in the forces, yeah. and they're actually taking up clay shooting yeah. now as well, which we've, is great, isn't got, it? We've got a few members in the DSG who are from the forces, um, come and join us once a month and you know anyone who's, who's had any problems any crashes anything from the forces please get in contact you know I always say it the more the merrier we, we, you know, we, I think we're there's 150 CPSA members um, who are disabled shots 
and I think we've got a membership of around 50 for the DSG at the moment. So there's still 100 here in Super Zero who are not even members, but and there's lots of others out there who, who are in neither. So, you know, please, please do come forward if you're watching this. So. And, and certainly, though, seeing that, you know, we're out in the middle of nowhere, we're in a field, yep. but for you being able to get round on, on, a, on a buggy as well, so, yep. you know, accessibility at shoots is getting much better, isn't it? It is, yeah, and to be fair, it's um, thanks to my pal Adrian last today, he's, he's brought his buggy along and chauffeured me round from the day from Ipswich down to here, then, then round the course, and it makes a real, real big difference for me. Um, fatigue, especially 200 clays, I'd be, I'd be out of it by 100 to be fair, so, so yeah, it's a big difference. But as we spoke about that buggy, Sam, you know, I see the buggy's gone off without you. I know, it's not good, is it? <laughs> I better start running after it. I'll leave it to you, catch you with you later. Thanks, Thanks Phil. Sam. Cheers. Thank you. A beautiful morning here on, on day six of the, uh, of the uh, Essex Masters here. For yourself here, you know, this is a lovely place here at Hepworth Hall, which is, which is your lovely ground here that you've got, and the farm and everything. How important it is for you to, to put on an event like this? Uh, it's massive and you know from where we were 13 14 years ago with four or five hundred entries to going to what we've got today it's just unbelievable it's a success story I mean, it must be one of the largest shoots now certainly in the country and maybe even in the world you know with every competitor shooting 200 targets it's a formidable story really and here we are on your farm and you've very kindly given up your land for this great event to to happen you know what's your motivation behind this well, I, I've shot plays for a long period of time and um, sort of latterly haven't done so much, but the children are getting interested in it. And, you know, I, I love to see it. I love to see the ground used. Um, we've got some very sympathetic neighbours. Obviously, they have to put up with a lot of noise for a few days. But, you know, it brings a lot of money into the local community as well. You can't find a hotel for love nor money this, this week. You know, there's people from Europe. Finland I mean, it's fantastic absolutely fantastic and you know this is the big event and this is really the sort of first masters of the year but here at Hepworth Hall you also run other events as well don't you yeah we do um, we are purely competition we have no practice days um, but yeah we hold the Essex championships and the automatic championship later on in the year so yeah just, just competitions and as with anything where a landowner is, is involved, it's crucial that the organisers and the landowner can work together. And I know you have a great relationship with John, don't you? Yeah, John is, he's the target setter, he is the master. And I mean, he does an incredible job. He's got a great team of people behind him. And, you know, it all seems to run very, very smoothly. And it's great, though, to see a partnership between the clay shooting community and the farming community that actually works. Indeed, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's great. It fits in here really well. Phil, beautiful morning here, day six of the Essex Masters and you've come in today. Now the score's on the board, isn't it? 189 from both the marks. How's that looking for you? It is what it is. It's on the board. We've got to chase it. See what we can do on the day, I suppose. If it's my shoot, it'll be my shoot. What's special about the Masters? Um, I think it's the atmosphere. Everything about it. You know, what other shoot do you know where you get 1,700 entrances in the UK? John works so hard. There's never any breakdowns. Run smoothly and it's on your doorstep. And certainly, I mean, John is renowned for his target setting though, isn't he? Oh yeah, one of the best course setters in the world, without doubt. And what is it that makes his courses special? Uh, John has a way of setting a target where you, it could be 10 foot away and 100 people could miss it, you know, he, he can do something so clever and no one knows about. Yeah, he's a very clever bloke. Don't well, I know, I know you want to go and shoot, so I better let you get on. Okay. So thanks again, Phil. Cheers, Phil. John, it's Sunday morning. We're now on day, day six of the Essex Masters. I mean, it's been a fantastic event. A little bit of rain yesterday, but the rest of the days, it's just been gorgeous, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah, I really appreciate it. You know, the weather's been lovely, and everyone seems to be enjoying it, so not much else we can do, really. You just try and get them through, get it finished. I mean, John, it's, it's in its 15th year. You know, it's very much your event. What motivated you to start it in the first place? Well, I'd sort of done it with uh, Neville from Essex Gun. He wanted to do an event, so he's the backbone behind it, and we've uh, and I've designed the courses and uh, it's gone from strength to strength, to strength. started with about 250 at the beginning where we used to change one course and move all the traps around for the second course and then put them back again but now we've got Promatic that sponsor us and uh, we put all the traps out now so it's, uh, it's uh, yeah it's one of the most popular events in the country if not the world it's probably the biggest one you know so.
With that in mind, you know, you, me you mentioned Promatic there, but for an event like this to run smoothly, I mean, the, the, the traps really have to be so reliable, don't they? Of course they do, yeah. I mean, uh, I can remember last year when we used them, we actually got squads coming, coming in and commenting that they never see a no bird. And for squads of seven and eight and that to come in and say they haven't seen a no bird, fantastic, you know. I, you know, I couldn't do run the event without them, really. Certainly, I've been chatting to a few of the shooters as well. They've said how great they find both the red course and the black course. The one thing they say, though, is, you know, from a technical point of view, you know, you never really go for massive distance on your targets, but it's very much about speed and angle, isn't it? Of course it is, yeah. That's all it is, really, speed and angle. We've got a few long ones on, but you don't want to crucify the lower classes, you know. You want them to come in and shoot 70 out of 100. They're quite happy, you know. They're just trying to beat... We get a lot of club shooters here, and they? they're just trying to beat one another, and if you beat them up with distance... You know, I don't think it's fair. I'd like to put targets on which they think they should be hitting, but they don't. So that's the way I catch them out, you know. And, you know, John, for you, you know, you, you shot many years as well, and I know you still shoot a little bit now, but for you, course setting is, is one of your key things, though, isn't it? Yeah, I've done it most of, most of my time while I've been shooting. You know, I mean, I've represented Great Britain, and I've been Great Britain captain and coach and that, but I do enjoy setting up. I'm just off to the World Championships in Florida, where I'll be setting that up on Monday, so, yeah. Go from strength to strength. <laughs> and just, and just one final, final thing from me, John. You know, we've, you know, I've, I've seen Mark Windsor put that score in and put Mark Marshall as well. But I mean, today there's one or two of the other big names as well. Do you think that 189 will be beaten? Well, it's a little bit windy today. It could make a few easier and it could make a few harder. I got a feeling 189 is going to hold, but I could be wrong. There's some good shots here. Sam Green's here. You know, um, yeah, I think uh, and Phil Gray. It could get beat. So, but we'll see. They're coming back for a shoot off anyway. So. Hopefully we've got a shoot off at the end of it, so that'd be great. Well, now we come to the, the shoot off between the two marks here, both of them on 189. They're now going to shoot over three stands, five pairs on each stand, so it's going to be out of 30 birds this great final. Remember this year on Clay Shooting TV, we're just going to give you the highlights and then we're going to be adding an additional programme where you'll be able to see the full shoot off. You'll see this year that we're using ref cam as well, taking you even closer to the action. Well, here we come, we're coming on this last stand now, really, really tense. Can Mark do it on his last pair now? Yes, he's got that pair, he's got the pair. And we have our first winner of the first major of the year, the Essex Masters. So Mark Windsor automatically has guaranteed himself a place in the Clay Shooting TV Premier League final. Well, boys, well, that was, what, a, what a fantastic way to finish this great competition and only one between the two of you again. How does it feel, Mark? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really pleased to win the Essex. Um, yeah, long time since I won it last time. I think it was 2011, sort of 10, yeah. something like that. So yeah, yeah, pleased to win it. Yeah. So it's a pleasure to shoot off against Mark Palamide. And again, I mean, you two are great friends, yeah, though. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. great. It's great to see the two of you. I mean, both of you wanted to win that and one claim yeah, yeah, between yeah. it. I mean, Mark, we saw you on one of those giving a double barrel to one of them. I know, yeah, because I've got a little bit angry. All you know, to miss a bit a midi like that, I thought, come on, get it shot. You know, get, stop playing around with it. I knew I could kill it second barrel. I just wanted to put it out of the reason that, you know, thinking, how can you keep missing the target like that? It's, it's, it's set up to be shot, isn't it? It's set up yeah, to be shot. Yeah. But the wind, again, the wind's just hanging it back, just making it jump a little bit. It just caught me twice. So, anyway, yeah, did a job. Just one in it there, Mark, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't feel like I deserve to have won anyway. I didn't feel that was, uh, both of us. We both didn't shoot well, we, well there, to be <laughs> We could go round there and straight that, I'm sure, if we were um, on, an, on another day. But, um, yeah, like I said earlier, I, I, you know, if there's anyone I'd rather beat me, there's not many people I don't mind too much but Mark's definitely it and um, he's definitely in the top three but it's a yeah, great shoot off very tricky no distance again you know didn't need any distance to, no, no, to beat us and uh, yeah it's good but again I mean nice you know there's a good crowd here as well yeah, to, yeah, to watch yeah, the yeah. end as well yeah. everyone supporting it yeah it was brilliant yeah it was good to, it was good that everybody's here nice to see, me, see my dad just turned up over there look stalker look <laughs> he couldn't help himself look <laughs> no um yeah no brilliant you know really good really good always always a nice as i said earlier in the interview but always a nice nice time to come back to to hepworth hall and uh, and have a shot, yeah. But, th but this time you're not driving away with a Range Rover? No, no, no. We're driving away with a nice trophy and uh, a couple of quid in my pocket. But always, you know, forget all the prize money side of things. It's always a good thing to win. And let's just... John, John, John. John, just qu just quickly, I mean, two great, fantastic shots here. You probably couldn't have asked for better people to win this. No, certainly not. A new name on the trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Whoever won it. 
Was it? You've won it before. I've won it before, yeah. yeah. Oh, have you? Short term memory. Like, oh, like, yeah. Well, well, yeah. 2011, yeah. I won it. Kept drawing off of it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's won it so many times, I forgot how many. <laughs> <laughs> you have won it before, yeah. Yeah, just once yeah. before, yeah, yeah. 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 But, I mean, just the, these two guys were saying again, great targets, <coughs> great targets in the shoot off yeah. as well. Just a shame about the win today. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, made, it made our, our shoot there tricky, didn't it? It took us a couple of targets off each. Imagine around there what it was. Rabbit jumped on each of us, yeah. Steve Rightwell shot a 91 on the red course today, which. That's, That's good, good score, going in the wind, really, yeah, yeah, very really good, good in the wind. Yeah, so it's been a good competition and uh, thank you for coming down and yeah, fair play to you, John. Been another and, uh, day, mate. Another good, good taking part in it. Yeah, well done. Really enjoyed it. And it's a shame you're not going to America, as Doug Wines. I know, Why yeah. Why ain't he going? I know, Why I ain't he be, coming? I should be, but I don't know. I'm away too much this year anyway. got to sacrifice one or two, haven't you? So yeah, yeah. I'll go to America for the fit task anyway. So. Yeah, but you should have done the World Championship, then you? At work. Yeah, Just, work. Commitment. Just can't have some money. I know. Not like yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, well, he's professional. Not like he's like he's like like he's rich I'm, I'm not shooting it. I'm, I'm <laughs> setting it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations again, Mark. Well done. Paul, really special for you today, you know, from, from a game ball perspective. One, two, three at the Essex Masters, which is really the first major of the year. It is, yeah. Good, good start to the year. We, uh, we look forward to uh, continuing with this, uh, with this path. And, you know, what, what developments for game ball this year? Uh, we're looking at bringing a uh, black gold, uh, souped up black gold out at the end of, the, uh, well, hopefully the end of this month, early next month, uh, the Dark Storm. Uh, many of the shooters have probably seen it in the game loads. We're looking to bring those out up to, uh, well, 15, 50 feet per second at the moment. So extreme fit ass loads, six and a half, seven and a half and eights. But you can use them in any discipline, depending on what you want to do. Well, the sun is setting behind us on what has been a fabulous six days here at the Essex Masters. The Essex Masters for us is the first major of the new season and it's the first major of the Clay Shooting TV Premier League. We now know that Mark Windsor has automatically qualified for the Premier League final which will be in October but who else is going to qualify we'll certainly see that over the coming months in all the majors. So remember ranking points will be taken from this competition that's been on for the last six days. You'll be able to find those on clayshooting.tv and go onto the Premier League tab. The great thing for me here over these last six days has been able to see all the different categories of shooters shooting through. 1,700 shooters have enjoyed this great course and now just the wind is getting up behind us. Certainly though we've seen some great shooting, some amazing shooting as well from some, but the shoot off as well where we saw Mark Windsor and Mark Marshall shooting off together, two fantastic friends who shot off there and again that rich vein of form that Mark Windsor finds himself in just continues.